Good morning, coffee drinkers. It's time for a very special coffee with Brent. One I'm actually nervous about. Not special because it's episode 160, which is kind of a milestone, just because it's a round number. But because today is May 15th, 2020, Oh, by the way, not just because I got my hair cut last night. I was wearing a mask. So was the stylist. Um, not, not because of that, but because today is the last day of a job that I've had for almost 10 years. And I apologize in advance. Uh, this is, I don't think I'm going to ramble, but it's going to go a little longer than usual because I want to share some background. I was thinking this morning as I lay in bed that... It was about 10 years ago this month that I began the search that led to the job that I'm leaving today. The search came because the year before, in May, March of 2009, um, our company that I was at in Jacksonville laid off a ton of people. I, I, I'm exaggerating, but you know, if you added all our body weights together, it probably was a ton. There was about 12 of us, I think. So it was a big kind of bloodletting because of the global economic meltdown. And um, so that was in March of 2009. And I tried to take it in stride, uh, authored and launched some iPhone apps. That didn't work out as well as I hoped they would because I thought I was shifting from advertising to a, a new phase of life. And so December that year, talked about talked with a friend about going into business with him so I went into business with him he was an art director um, but we weren't really in business together in January of uh, you know we started working together sort of in January of 2010 but he still had a lot of freelance uh, gigs and if you're doing an ad agency and you got freelance gigs and you try to do something you know you kind of you have to focus on getting agency kind of business you can't just do freelance kind of stuff the rates are different the value you bring is different that went on about four months you know and I wasn't making any money um I had been on unemployment and uh and I went off unemployment because I was doing this and you know you have to check in with um with somebody with the government and when the guy heard how little money I'd made like four hundred dollars over the course of four months he put me back on um uh, on um, unemployment. So about May, 10 years ago, I started looking monster.com, indeed.com, some of those places to see who would be hiring, looking for a copywriter. That was my background. I'd moved from copywriter to senior copywriter to creative group head where I was. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I eventually saw a job for an agency in Alabama, in Birmingham, and I applied for that job. And ended up getting contacted by the mobile office and and ended up here now it was a uh, it was a um, you know it was difficult for me very difficult because even in the midst of a global economic meltdown my personality type is such that it really devastated me and wounded me and I always felt like I had to prove myself and I was really unhappy I was unhappy and I, I was unhappy with God. I was unhappy with my work situation. I was unhappy with myself. And that went on for a few years. It's kind of miserable at times, to be completely honest. Um, somewhere along the way, uh, I changed. Not all at once. But my attitude changed about things. And as a result of my attitude changing I became more at peace at where I was and I began to pursue other things I, I was writing for a while wrote you know two or three unpublished manuscripts um, I what else did I do um, uh, the the point is that was a long that was a long process and to bring me where I where I am today 10 years ago I was not in a position to lead Emotionally, um, I, I was always, you know, I felt like I was always trying to prove myself. And when you're trying to prove yourself and your own worth, you don't focus on other people and making other people better. I think that's changed about me. Um, 
And so here I am, 10 years later, after lots of ups and downs, um, about to launch a completely, uh, a completely new business and a new line of work um, with the confidence that, you know, God willing, it's going to succeed. That Lord willing, my wife and I working together are going to bring a lot of value to people and make life better for a lot of vulnerable people in, in, in our country, in our world. And I'm super excited about that. Um, of course, there's sadness whenever you leave one chapter, close a chapter and you move on in your journey, move on to the next chapter. I'm mixing my metaphors, sorry. Uh, haven't had enough of this stuff right here. But I, I just want to go back to the change that happened. For me, the change, there was a little, uh, in the la last couple of years, a few things have changed a little about my work environment that's made it better. But mostly what's changed was me and how I approached it. And I became so much more at peace with myself and so much more satisfied because no longer was that workplace where I was trying to find, um, find my identity and find my uh, worth and purpose and justify my existence. Um, and I'm, I'm happier for it. Um, so maybe I haven't rambled that, that long. Um, I'm, I'm launching into a new career. You know, you go back when I was in college, I thought I was going to be a doctor or a veterinarian. And then I, you know, had one of those 400 person classes in chemistry or organic chemistry or biology or something like that at University of Florida, where, man, it's hard to understand and get help. And it really weeds people out, weeded me out. And then I was going to be in the ministry and I did ministry for a while, but man, I was immature. I, I was not, not ready to handle disappointment and letting people down. And so then I went into advertising, which is ironic because every day you're going to let people down because you're auditioning your talents and your skills. Um, but, you know, God gets with me with some some creative ability so and, and uh, ability to turn a phrase. So that that worked out. But the last 10 years has been, like I said, up, up and down. And I'm I think I'm coming out. I, I'm able to do something now that I never could have done. 10 years ago. I have so much going on right now. So much. Uh, and it's enough to overwhelm me and would have overwhelmed me 10 years ago. But now I just kind of roll with the punches. And I'm not bragging. All right? It's not bragging. If you take away anything from this, take away hope that with a change of mindset, um, anything's possible. And I just want to say, I got to be straight, uh, straight up. Part of that change of mindset is involved with where I find my security and sense of worth and purpose and value and belonging. And it no longer comes from the things that I do and the things I try to accomplish. Um, I, I have tried to lean into the gospel, um, which is, you know, a Christian thing. Um, but leaning into that, <clears throat> my, uh, I, I find my identity in all those things that we all try to pursue pleasure, power, possessions, you know, uh, I can go with a, a whole bunch of other things like that, but we do those things to try to find our security, our purpose, our identity, a sense of belonging, uh, approval. And instead I'm leaning into grace and mercy. And, um, and because of that, it has freed me to do other things and pursue other things and not worry. So, so I'm happier. I hope that you can be happier if you're not happy right now. And I want to thank you for listening and um, watching. And, um, you know, this is this is kind of my story. It's a, like I said, it's a momentous day. And this is a significant, um, you know, significant pivot for me. And we're excited about it. So talk to you later. Peace out.